Welcome to my new calculus channel. Um, <clears throat> I've been asked the question about how one derives the series for e to the x many, many times. Almost as many times, would you believe, as sine x. Now, neither of those series uh, were derived using calculus. And Newton didn't have a clue about Taylor series. Did you realize that, you idiotic moron? He knew nothing about limits. He didn't use calculus. He derived the arc sine series as well as <clears throat> all the other series that he derived without the use of calculus. Now, I'm going to show you in this video, you moron, how to derive e to the x without limits or calculus, and therefore to be able to differentiate it term by term. Okay, let's begin. So, um, I can pick any function I like. I'm going to call my function f of x n, where it's a function of two variables. Yes, and I'm going to let it equal to this particular expression here, 1 plus x n to the power of 1 over n, or you could say the nth root of this binomial. And I can expand it using the binomial series, which, by the way, is not calculus. It came long, long, long before calculus, you incorrigible morons. So um, i show you how to get each one of these terms here, as I've done in these two steps here. It's pretty easy to do, but some of you are so thick that you wouldn't even be able to do that. So I'm helping you out. And... Then I'm taking these terms here that I've calculated and putting them back in the function, all right? So I end up with an expression like this. See here? Um, 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial, etc. Now, if I set n equal to 0, I end up with this function here. And guess what? That series is actually equal to e to the x, okay? And so that's all that needs to be done. You don't have to deal with limits. You don't have to worry about Taylor series or any of that other nonsense. Uh, and I hope I shall never be asked by any one of the many morons in mainstream academia or their little lackeys who are students studying and suffering from the Dunning-Kruger effect. Don't come to me and post comments in my comment section telling me how do you derive this again because you will be banned there won't even be a warning okay so uh, this is the last time i tell you this it shall never be discussed again right uh i'm the jo i'm john gabriel this is a new calculus channel and that's it goodbye